okay, this is important. Um, uh, and I was feeling a little bummed because it seemed to be really bad news about Firefox, which is still my chosen browser. I know, you know everyone knows Google's Chrome is now the the winner in uh, at the moment in the browser wars. Uh, so here's the story that appeared to only affect Firefox. Um, and I'm phrasing it that way because it turns out Chrome's no better. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. So uh, and paraphrasing from the report, Firefox users running on SSD mesh storage should consider this must-change setting. Today's modern multi-core processor systems and higher um, quantities of RAM allow users to open multiple Firefox tabs and windows simultaneously. I've got two windows. I have something like 227 tabs open at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I just sort of use them as infinite placeholders. I have, I have tabs from the work I was doing on Spinrite 6.1 that are still open uh, from when I stopped working on 6.1 to, to, to turn my attention to Squirrel until I get back to 6.1. So that gives you a sense of, you know, they're a little dusty. But they're there. They're my placeholders. So uh, these guys write, this can have an unintended effect for those SSDs as Session store data is being written constantly to NAND memory, thus fatiguing it. Purely by chance, the author of this report fired up a free copy of SSD Life on two consecutive days on a workstation used only for email and browsing. For those unfamiliar with this tool, it reports estimated lifetime for an attached SSD, and it also shows the amount of data read and written. In this case, SSD Life notified the user that 12 gigabytes was written to the SSD in one day. Since he didn't recall downloading any huge files over the previous day or visiting any new sites that could have resulted in bringing down a lot of new content to cache, this puzzled him. He monitored these stats over the next couple of weeks, and this behavior stayed consistent. Even if the workstation was left idle with nothing running on it but a few browser windows, it would invariably write at least 10 gigabytes per day to wow. the SSD. Uh huh. Using SysInternals resource monitors. Disk utilization immediately revealed the culprit, Firefox. It was continuously writing between 300K and 2 megabytes per second to a file named recovery.js. This is Firefox's session backup file which is used to restore browser sessions in case of a browser or an OS crash or hang. Now, there's a setting in Firefox you can change. If you, if you go to, in the URL, you put about colon config to bring up this daunting array, I mean, just a blizzard, of, of settings. In fact, there's so many, you have to have a search bar, and so there is one. Then you search for browser.sessionstore.interval. And even if I, when I put in browser.sessionstore, I thought, oh, that probably narrows it down enough. No, there's still like 25 different things. Anyway, dot .interval. It defaults to 15,000 and that interval is in milliseconds. So that's every 15 seconds. The default is Firefox will store its state. And if that state is a lot of large pages, it is redundantly, and I guess not very intelligently, not incrementally, 
It's just dumping its entire state constantly. So this experimenter, in his case, what I did was I added a zero. So I dropped it from every 15 seconds to every 150 seconds. This guy set it to 30 minutes. Now, I have to say, I appreciate that crash recovery. Uh, with the latest Firefox, where they, they created a separate thread for the UI that was supposed to increase stability, eh, it's for me, I'm having more trouble with it. It's not as stable as earlier Firefoxes were. So I'm not that happy with it. And so, you know, I'm having to restart it sometimes. And 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 I'm happy that it recovers all those tabs. Uh, but boy, uh, and I'm using an all spinning drive RAID for this workstation. But this next machine that I've talked about, this Windows 7 machine with all that RAM, I'm going to seriously look at at revisiting the, the a RAM disk and see if it isn't possible to redirect Firefox's uh, state store, its crash uh, snapshotting over to a RAM disk because an SSD is my primary drive on that on that system, a nice one, uh, but still I don't want it just sitting there chewing up the SSD. So anyway, so this guy says bottom line is that if you have a lower capacity consumer level SSD in some of your machines, you may want to check and tweak your Firefox config. Those drives can be rated for about 20 gigabytes of writes per day, and Firefox alone might be using more than half of that. And, like, for no reason. I mean, doing an insane amount of, of redundant writing, essentially. I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to put some pressure on the architects to, to make this incremental, because it's ridiculous that, well, like, leaving it alone on, a, on an idle workstation, and it's every 15 seconds, it, it saves the entire browser state non-incrementally. It's just poor engineering. Um, they, they, they finish saying, this is especially true if you're like uh, this guy and have several browser windows open at all times. I, don't even, I haven't looked at mine. I, I shudder to think how much my system is writing redundantly to, to hard drives. Changing this parameter may even help with normal hard disks. Your machine will feel faster if it doesn't have to constantly write this session info. Users have observed that content open in the browser does have a major impact on writes. So, so not just how many tabs, but how big the tabs are. That is in terms of how large the, the page is that the tab is holding. As does the number of open windows and tabs. If you are using Firefox and a lower write endurance SSD, you should check this immediately. And then in an update to this, they said, we are now testing other browsers. Currently in the middle of a Chrome version, 52.0. blah, 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 blah test, we have been able to see a pace of over 24 gigabytes Whoa. per day of writes on this machine. So they're seeing a gigabyte per hour under Chrome. So it's not just Firefox. It's both of those browsers that, that are, are not intelligently saving their state. And, and it's interesting because I have noticed that when I do – a restart. Sometimes, uh, in fact, I have a, a an add-on, a Firefox add-on that's a, like a little green curly arrow, which is a demand restart. And uh, and sometimes its use of memory just sort of grows. And so it's like I say, okay, and I push the button, and it does a Firefox restart. It 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 takes it out. I, I get back three quarters of my machine's memory, and then it creeps up again. The point is that. I've noticed that if I, if I then touch, if I open a tab or switch to a tab that, that I haven't looked at since it restarted, it brings up the old page's content. 
And I thought, oh, right. isn't that interesting? Where is that? Well, yep. now we know. It's sitting in this monster file, which it's been redundantly writing, and and it, but it didn't it didn't load it back into the browser until I actually viewed it. But anyway, so I think that that's a really valuable tip, especially for people who are on SSD based machines. I mean, a lot of laptops all, these days. Yeah, we're all on SSDs now. Yes. Yes. I, the, the, and the scary part about this is how many of us have desktops that are on all day and we leave our browser open. I do it all the time. And now it, I need it, to go it, in and find out what it's doing. Yes, it's your portal to the internet. Yeah. I mean, I've got two browser windows open statically. It's just a it's now part of my environment is is the browser and it's sitting here just chewing up the hard disk. So, again, Sysinternals resource monitor and there is a disk utilization feature there which shows you by process how much what processes are using your disk i would anyone who's interested who's worried or curious about this spin that up and and see what your browser is doing the good news is for firefox i, I there wasn't any follow up yet for chrome but for firefox we can slow that way down yeah and i will say that if you want to see what damage may have been done already all of the major SSD manufacturers, Samsung, Intel, uh, Kingston, even Toshiba maybe, they've got utilities that you can run that will actually show you how many writes have been made to the cells on average, assuming, of course, that they're doing trim properly. And I know that most modern drives will safely do between two and 3,000 writes per cell. Uh, some of the enterprise drives will do up to 10,000 writes per cell. And that should give you a good clue as to how much damage has been done. I, I, I really want to check that now because I've I've literally had a desktop on for about 18 months with browser tabs open at all times. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. 